as a country, we gain. Our money is now worth more. So the first effect of that is that we are now richer than we used to be. We are much more of a service-oriented economy, much more of an information technology industry today. So that makes a very big difference. I, I, I think we are not as dependent on manufacturing as we were 30 years ago. Canadian economy, having done quite well during the crisis, has definitely created some confidence in the global economy about the strength of the Canadian economy. We stood the ground, the economy did not really decline very much. So that is a very big factor. Uh, the second factor is commodities. We are somewhat a commodity dependent and after a brief decline, commodities have gone back up. But there are sectors that will suffer and the sectors that will suffer are the export sectors. Um, export sector is going to suffer because it becomes more difficult for people to export their goods uh, you were making something for 100 Canadian dollars, you could sell it for 80 US, now you're going to have to sell it for 100 US. Well, it's going to be more difficult. The first effect on the export sector is going to be very negative. If they respond well, which means if they use this time to say we need to shape up, we need to cut costs and we need to modernize, then in the long run it may actually end up helping us. One sector that's going to get hurt is the tourism industry which is because they have a double whammy here. Uh, the foreigners will find it difficult or perhaps find it more expensive to come to Canada. Canadians will find it cheaper to go abroad. And again, the same thing applies to the tourist, tourism industry. If they can modernize and move up on the chain of the tourists, then it might end up being a very good thing for the tourism industry. If they sit back and look for government subsidy, then they're going to suffer.